Hello everyone, I'm Noxious Asp. Welcome to another installment of my series, Machine Spotlight, where we take an in-depth look at some of the new and returning machines in Horizon Forbidden West. In this installment, we'll be shining the spotlight on the Rollerback, one of the 23 brand new machines introduced in Horizon Forbidden West. The Rollerback's design seems to take inspiration from a variety of naturally armored creatures, such as the Pangolin, the Doodicarus, and the Ankylosaurus. Large, durable metal plates protect vulnerable inner components, and a massive club sits at the end of its long tail that it uses as a powerful melee weapon. The Rollerback initially appears slow and cumbersome. However, when in combat it can roll up into a ball, similar to Sonic the Hedgehog, and propel itself at great speed using thrusters located on its back, all while leaving a fiery wake in its path. In this video, I will be covering key information on the Rollerback, including its locations, weak points, combat strategies, and more. If you find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Let's start by reviewing the Rollerback's locations on the map. The Rollerback has two marked machine sites as well as a single unmarked machine site. The first of the marked sites is located just south of Mono Lake and the Tanakh settlement of Saltbite. Here you can find two Rollerbacks. I found this location had the highest spawn rate for Apex Rollerbacks out of the two marked sites. The second marked site is located to the west just northwest of Cauldron Chi and the Far Zenith base. Here you can find another pair of rollerbacks, with no other machines nearby. The last site lies unmarked in between the Tanakh settlement of Saltbite and the Tanakh capital, the Grove. Here you can find a couple of rollerbacks alongside a small group of wide maws. Now let's take a look at the machine catalog entry for the Rollerback and its variants. Rollerback, a level 22 transport midweight machine. A heavily armored transport machine that can launch into a rolling attack. Its gravity generator allows it to reattach armor plates after they have been torn off. It is weak versus acid damage and strong versus frost and shock damage. Notable loot includes metal bite, metal shards, blast paste, crystal braiding, sturdy hard plate, Rollerback Circulator, Machine Muscle, Medium Machine Core, Rollerback Primary Nerve, Braided Wire, and Metal Bone. Now let's take a look at the only other variant of the Rollerback, the Apex Rollerback. Apex Rollerback, a level 35 transport midweight machine. A hunter-killer variant recognizable by black and gold armor plates and purple muscles. It has been modified to be significantly more resilient and deadly. It cannot be overridden. It is weak versus frost damage and strong versus shock and acid damage. The Apex Rollerback's loot differs in that it adds a chance for Apex Rollerback Heart as well as Volatile Sludge. One key difference to note is that the Apex Rollerback has Sparkers where the regular variant has Acid Canisters. Let's move on to study the Rollerback's various weak points so that we can use them to our advantage in battle. Two acid canisters that serve as metal bite storage reside on the base of the rollerback's tail, protected by metal plating. Tear them off to collect the resource, or shoot with an acid arrow to detonate. The machine's hammer tail serves as a massive primary bludgeoning weapon. Detach or destroy it to disable key attacks. It also serves as a key upgrade resource for some gear. Four resource containers lie on the machine's back, accessible only after protective armor plates have been removed. Tear them off to collect their contents. Cargo holders act as sturdy cargo clamps. Detach or destroy them to collect resources from the cargo container. Two cooling blocks act as heat ventilation systems. Tear them off to collect their contents. Four thrusters on the machine's back and tail serve as powerful propulsion units that enable rapid mobility. They are not destructible, but when they are overheated, they are especially vulnerable to damage. The Rollerback's gravity generator powers its anti-gravity system that it uses to attract and reattach armor plates. Destroying it prevents this ability as well as produces a massive concussive shockwave. Adhesive sacks lie atop the Rollerback's shoulders, hidden underneath armor plating. Destroying them will cause them to detonate. 
Leave them intact to add stick paste to the available loot. Next, let's familiarize ourselves with the Rollerback's wide variety of attacks. Here, it curls up and uses its thrusters to spin across the battlefield and crush anything in its path. It can also spin to kick up rocks for a ranged attack. It can also use its thrusters to launch itself into the air for devastating slam attacks. It spins its tail around wildly, which causes it to get disoriented and topple over. Dodge out of the way to avoid its tail slam attacks. It can also discharge flames from its thrusters for a nasty burn. Here it showcases its agility by performing two consecutive tail swipes followed by a heavy slam attack. Finally, watch out for its ranged adhesive attack. After studying its weak points and attacks, you should be able to take down even an Apex Rollerback in no time. The Rollerback can indeed be overridden, however you will first need to complete Cauldron Iota and receive its overrides. The Rollerback override will initially come corrupted, so you will have to craft an uncorrupted override using two Rollerback Tails and a single Rollerback Primary Nerve. Now I will demonstrate overriding a rollerback in the wild. You guessed it, we're gonna set it to aggressive. Let's see how it does against the nearby Apex rollerback. Our rollerback lands the first hit. But the Apex rollerback answers with a powerful series of attacks. An amazing dodge from our Rollerback. The Apex lands a series of well-aimed adhesive attacks. Another amazing dodge as our Rollerback is back on its feet. Another series of consecutive hits and our Rollerback comes out on top, but just barely. Given its speed and strength, the Rollerback proves to be quite an entertaining override. That concludes this installment of Machine Spotlight, where we took a closer look at the Rollerback. Tell me what you think of the Rollerback in the comments below. What did you think when you faced one for the first time? I won't lie, the first time I encountered one, it absolutely destroyed me. I was not prepared for its agility and tough defenses. I also love the design. It truly is a unique machine. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. It's hard to believe the next installment will already be the 10th Machine Spotlight. Time flies when you're having fun, and I've been having a ton of fun making this series. Thanks again to all my subscribers for their continued support and encouragement. As always, I'm Noxious Asp. Thanks for watching.